Hey, welcome to Apprentice Marks. My name is John, this is my buddy Cam, and today we're gonna make paintings with fire. Today we're gonna talk about this technique which is mostly called fluid arts online. You can search for it. There's hundreds of videos or thousands of videos on the internet for making it look pretty. We don't care about looking pretty today. We care about figuring out why these particular patterns happen when we mix the different materials together. We're gonna start with regular old acrylic paint from any store. We're going to mix that with a special medium um, called a pouring medium. We're gonna mix it with silicone oil, treadmill lubricant. We're gonna combine them together in a single pour on the canvas. We're gonna leverage the propane torch to make the cells appear, the circles and the fractal patterns appear. So this is a really cool technique and the reason that it works is because of the mixture of the oil and the water. The acrylic paint is water-based and the treadmill oil that we put into some of the paint, well, it's oil-based. And when we put those things together and then we apply heat, we actually cause the oil to expand and bring some of the lighter colored acrylic paint to the surface of the darker colored acrylic paint. To show you what happens, we've got this mason jar here with darker colored water in the bottom and oil floating on top and we're gonna drop an Elka-Seltzer tablet into it. That's gonna cause a bunch of bubbles to form simulating the effect of the heat on the paint. Let's check it out. Now this isn't actually hot. We're simulating the flow of the oil from the bottom layer to the top layer. When we hit this with fire, it lights up with all these really cool cells. That's the oil being yanked to the top. And we get a fantastic fractal pattern. Oh, that looks so cool. Since we're talking about making art with fire, let's pick some colors that are like fire. I got some red here and I got some yellow here and we wanna mix them up. Out of the tube, the red looks kinda of like toothpaste. It's sort of like piling in on itself and it's not really a fluid. We're gonna make it a fluid by adding in some of our pouring medium. Different brands of paints are gonna need different amounts of fluid added to them because they have different amounts of pigment in them. What really matters here isn't so much the ratios but the viscosity of the end product. Because acrylic paint is water-based, we can of course thin this out with a water-based product. You can't just mix your distilled water into your paint and have it work. You do still have to have the pouring medium, but what the water will do is help us quickly thin this out so that we get more of a stream type thickness that pours off the end of our stir stick. Now we gotta add the secret sauce. That's the oil. Now this is our silicon based treadmill oil. All right, so do a little bit of pour of that oil in there. Now because we're real artists, we've got an extremely expensive $4 dollar store canvas here because we use only the best in these videos. More lubricant please. More lube. For a canvas this size, we've got eh, about a third to a half of that solo cup full of paint. And we've double lubricated it with the, both the treadmill oil and the WD-40. This may be either fantastic or awful. Oh. I'm gonna swipe one direction. Oh, that's cool. All right, so that already looks really cool, but uh... You gotta dial it up to 11 there, John. <laughs> I think it'll look cooler with some fire. What do you want to name it? All good artists name their paintings. <laughs> I want to name it Explosion at the Heinz Factory. Another piece of the science behind this is actually the selection of the colors. For the composition of our art, if you're just beginning and you don't know a lot more about the color wheel, a very simple way to go is a set of analogous colors, two or three adjacent colors on the wheel, and something that's directly opposite them on the wheel. Pour those all into a cup, flip it, and see what happens. We've got two colors here for our analogous. We're looking kind of in the purple-violet range. Our complementary is gonna be a yellow, and then we've got our white again for highlights. On our canvas, we're gonna start by putting dark purple around the perimeter here. And this is gonna help the paint flow down over the edge. And then similar concept to the sides of the canvas, just so that we don't have to tip as far to get the paint into the corners. Now time for the mix. Dark purple in. I got these wonderful rainbow hands going on here. You forgot to wear gloves and you're gonna regret it. Yep. All right, some yellows. White for accent colors. And flip and dump. I really should have had gloves. You do the tip in here. 
Oh, that's cool. I really like how we've got the, the splashes of color on the white, on the predominant white there. That looks neat. subtle the fire. All right, we're done with all the art. Now it's time for waiting. We gotta let these paintings dry for almost 24 hours. We've got a really thick layer of paint on there and we don't wanna move it. This is a really productive form of art. You can it really is. turn out a bunch of interesting looking stuff. It is, and these paintings, when you get the color mixes right, they can go in art forums and on Facebook for 50 to 100 bucks with almost no effort. And this is the type of project that you could definitely do at home with materials that you can get at the dollar store, but if you happen to be in the same area that we're in, in the Kitchener Waterloo area, and you want to do something like this in a group setting, Kim, you, you run a, a group setting uh, sort of class for this. Yeah, program, I actually right? I actually run a business called Tinker Truck, and uh, this is one of our two dozen projects that we do with both kids and adults. This is a really approachable project, so give it a shot. And uh, if you come up with something cool, definitely post it down in the comments. I'd love to see uh, what you come up with. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much for showing me this thing. No problem. Take care. Cheers.